Hi everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore, and today I'm sharing a cute little treat holder. It's actually pretty quick and easy to make. It's not a bag or a box, but it's really a cute little treat holder. And it will hold like, it probably will hold the large Ghirardelli. I just didn't have one on hand, but um, this is a mini and it fits in there. But maybe a little one of those mini candy bars or something. But I thought it was really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and share this with you today. So let's get started. The first thing you'll need is a piece of Whisper White that's 2 and 6 eighths by 8 inches. And what we're going to do is let me go ahead and score it because we're only making one little score mark on it. And we're going to score it at 3 inches. So that is it. I hope I got that straight. I did that pretty quick. Okay, so that's three inches. And then I'm going to bring the big shot up here because I'm using the new lots of labels. They look like this. It's stamping up. And I'm using the second largest one, which is this size. And we are going to just cut the little scallop in the top. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a little tricky because you can't you know obviously you can't lay it down like this or it would cut here but to get it on both sides I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let me go ahead and grab the big shot and my magnetic plate and this helps greatly when you're doing something like this. My, no, my bottom plate you can tell I use this a whole lot. I need to get some new plates actually. And then what you're going to do is you're going to lay this on top right to the edge there. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to slide your other plate underneath. And you're just going to line it up like to the edge right here where the scallop ends. And then we are going to, i got to hold it in place. And then we're going to go ahead and just send it through. So it's only going to cut... The top part like that and then we'll turn it around and we'll do the exact same thing on this side if you have any questions you can go to my blog and I will try to help you through it and you just just email me or message me uh, send, leave me a comment so then this edge is lined up with the edge of the scallop and then we're gonna go ahead and just slide it through so that's it. Let me put this out of the way. And we're just going to clip the very edges of this. And then this side. So you have your two little edges on there. So this is going to fold up like that. And then you're going to need two pieces that are two and a half by three inches. And you're going to just run it. You can run these through because they're the width of the framelit. So you can just lay this over the top of your paper and run it through like that. So we have that ready. And I already went ahead and did that so I didn't have to fool with the big shot again. So I'm going to use some snail and we're just going to attach these two pieces. This one goes on the front. And it is a tiny, tiny bit long. So I just used my scissors and cut that little piece off. It's not even an eighth of an inch, so it's easier just to cut it off. So that's the front, and then we're going to just use the opposite side for this back. And just line it up to the top, because we're going to punch a hole in the top there. And I'm going to use, I think this is the half or quarter inch punch. I'll double check that and I'll write the supplies on my blog. 
just punch a hole in that right there. So now what we're going to do is set this aside and I'm going to get some scrap paper and the stamp set that I'm using is the um, All About Sugar which is this one I'm using the Sweet Treats from that and then this piece I'm using this little stamped heart piece and that's from the Sweet Stack. I love both of these. These are great for treat boxes or bags. So I'm going to use this time Bermuda Bay and I'm going to stamp and, and you have to fussy cut these out but they're simple cuts. So I'm going to stamp that. That's really cute. It's got little hearts on it. You probably can't see the detail of that. And then I'm going to grab another piece and with the Bermuda Bay and I'm going to stamp the sweet treats. Okay, so now I'm just going to fussy cut them out and I'll go ahead and speed through the video so you don't have to watch every step. So now we have our two pieces cut out and this is actually going to hold the little um, treat holder together. If you feel better you can add a little bit of tear and tape on the sides on each side if you rather have it closed that way but this will hold it closed. I'm going to, last time I used the fast fuse and I recommend using the fast fuse because it holds better but it takes less time to do it this way so this goes around and it just attaches around there. This just makes it so much quicker and then I'm going to grab some dimensionals and put them on the back of the sweet treats so it pops up a little bit. I only need two really. that will go like that and then I wanted to use this this Bermuda Bay and it's the striped ribbon and I love this ribbon and I want it's a little fat for this I'm not sure what it's gonna look like but I'm gonna try it anyway just to tie just a little bit a little bow and I don't know what happened to my ribbon scissors I had them here a little while ago but like I said in my last video, I'm going to convention this week, so my bench is a terrible mess because I've been making a lot of swaps. So let's see if I can do this with this ribbon. I love the little the striped, it's so cute. Yeah, it's going to be cute. Now if I had my ribbon scissors, I could make these cuts a little bit better. I think I took them in the other room because I was working on it. So this is going to be a little uneven, but bear with me. <laughs> so there, let me see if I can find another treat real quick. Yeah. And then you just stick it in there like that. That's super cute. I really love these. It's really quick and easy and it would make a really cute little favor. And where did my other one go? Right here. So those that's the two. And this is our um, lace, dotted lace trim. And I love this trim. This is the new um, in color. And this one is uh, Cucumber Crush. That's what I did these, that one in. So here's the two that I did. This one looks bigger because of the ribbon, I think. I don't think it's any taller. Actually, it is a little bit taller. I have no reason. I don't know why, but um, let me measure that again. Maybe I cut it wrong. I want to make sure because I don't want to tell you wrong. That's eight. Okay. 
Yeah, this one's seven and a half, the shorter one. So this one's eight. Oops, I'm sorry. This one's eight, and this one's seven and a half. So whichever you prefer, um, just use the length that you want them to be. If you want to use a sucker or something, this one would be cute with a sucker in it because it's taller. So that's the project today. Listen, I just want to let everybody know that like Wednesday, if you follow me on my blog, Wednesday, this Wednesday and um, Sunday, next Sunday, there won't be a video because I will be at the Stampin' Up! convention. I think on my blog I'm going to revisit some of the other um, boxes that I've made. I'll just post a couple so that maybe some of you haven't seen those. But anyway, I just want to let everybody know that I'm not gone. I haven't gone anywhere. It's just that I'm going to be at convention those two days. And, well, it's going to be the whole week. So I will be gone and I won't be able to get a video up. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed the project today. It's really quick, easy, and simple. And it's a lot of fun to do. So everyone, have a blessed day. If you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwiththemore.com and shop right from my shop. And I appreciate every one of you that shop with me. So thank you so much. I'll see you later. Bye.